evening my dear youtube viewers today we will switch over to the demerits of participant observation number 1 lack of objectivity second the defect due to the social status third oversight of importance issues due to the familiarity fourth one limited range of experiences fifth one involvement in groupism sixth one limits of participant observation switch over one after another lack of objectivity by becoming the member of the group the observer tends to lose his objectivity as scientists studying slums he used to prefer to live in slum areas he may be fascinated by raw racy and sexy talks of slum dwellers and also use foul language and obscene he may justify it as being frank and expressive therefore membership of a group leads to too close identification within it and this blurs the perspective of the or the perception of the scientist second the defect due to the social status some scientists have objected to participant observation on account of the fact that <coughs> as a member of the group he comes to occupy a special status in the group and he viewed the whole situation from his vantage point rather than in an objective manner the membership of a group and the special status help the scientist to learn many aspects of group life which remain in accessible to non participant observer be as a non participant observer third one oversight of important issues due to the familiarity some scientists are opined that even the participants actively involved in events there is no specific significance therefore they misses the many important points or the aspects as a matter of fact the researcher has better knowledge inside compared to the loud conversation outside fourth one limited range of experience the author the another objection for the observer is he may have more knowledge in one group but he does not have that much of depth of the knowledge in another group but matured observer does not have narrow range of experiences he knows that his knowledge is useful to learn for the learning process there is no end for that next involvement in groupism another objection goes with proximity proximity is equal to distance very near distance due to the proximity and propinquity with the group made him to involve himself in the factionalism prevalent in the group moreover though a scientist becomes an active member of a group he should never forget the fact that he is a group of the specific purpose limits of participant observation in practical way in some situation never allows observation example decoys and criminals in india many persons have lived with chambal valley that is where the decoys will be lived this decoys and they watched their activities from inside who oh, that is the observer that is the research scholar so participant observation had some limitations and drawbacks too in case if researcher influenced by the temptation the results are not so accurate example drug addiction alcoholism voyeurism etc the defects are due to the personal factors and no way it will affect the scientific status of participant observation hence we have to satisfy with the non participant observation in majority of the situations participant observation is the preferred one that is the preferred method or the technique so once again we will go back demerits of participant observation there are the six varieties of the drawbacks number 1 is lack of objectivity by becoming the member of the group the observer tends to lose his objectivity 
as scientist studying slums he used to prefer to live in slums only he may be fascinated by raw rasi and sexy talks of slum dwellers and also use foul language and obscene he may justify it as being frank and expressive therefore membership of a group leads to too close identification with it and this blurs the perspective of the scientist the defect due to the social status under this the social scientist have objected but the participant observation on account of the fact that as a member of the group he comes to occupy a special status in the group and he viewed the whole situation from his vantage point of view rather than the, in an objective manner here it is individual preferences taken rather than the subject objectives next the membership of the group and and the special status help the scientist to learn many aspects of group life which remain inaccessible to non participant observer oversight of important issues due to the familiarity some scientists are who point that even though participants actively involved in events there is no significance therefore they misses number of important points are the aspects as a matter of fact the researcher has better knowledge inside compared to the loud conversation outside the fourth one is limited range of experience the another objection is from the observer point of view he may be he may have more knowledge in one group about the one group but he does not have that much of more depth of the knowledge about the another group but matured observer does not have narrow range of experiences he knows or he has the minimum knowledge how to learn the process there is no end for that next involvement in groupism another objection goes with the proximity proximity means distance very near due to the proximity and propinquity with the group made him to involve himself in factionalism prevalent in the group that is available in the group moreover though a scientist becomes an active member of a group he should never forget the fact that he is a group of specific purposes last one limits of participant observation in practical situations sometimes the observation never be allowed example at the decoyed groups or the criminal groups in india many persons have lived in the chambal valley particularly the decoyed sir so as a observer if he wants to watch the activities staying with them that is from the inside so participant observation had some limitations and drawbacks in case if the researcher influenced by the temptation of their activities the results are not accurate example drug addiction alcoholism and voyeurism the defects are due to the personal factors and no way it will affect the scientific status of participant observation hence we have to satisfy with the non participant observation the majority of the situations participant observation is the preferred one that is the preferred method or the technique by this today's lecture is completed this is bindu signing off from the youtube platform please do subscribe this subscription will en- act is we encouraging to me in order to put some more videos for you good evening and good day